Hi and welcome to Level Up Cartooning, where our goal is to take the mystery out of the drawing process by breaking it into three easy to follow steps. Today we've got a fun one. We're going to be drawing two of the stars of the upcoming movie, Sponge Out of Water, SpongeBob and his pet snail Gary. All you're going to need to follow along with me is a pencil and a piece of paper. It doesn't get any easier than that, right? Before we get started, just a reminder to hit the subscription button, click on the notification bell so you don't miss any of the Level Up episodes, and if you still have enough energy left after that, don't forget to like this video. Alright, so let's get started. We're going to be drawing SpongeBob and Gary surfing step by step giving you the secret formula to be able to draw them again and again. In this first step, we'll draw what I call the roadmap to get SpongeBob and Gary's size, proportions, and pose right. Remember, until the last step, drawing the details, you're going to draw as light as possible, whisper on paper. If you've watched some of my other videos, then you know I use the character's head to figure out how big the whole character is. We've got a bit of a problem in this video, as SpongeBob's head is also a part of his body. Instead, we'll just divide up the shape of his body to know where to put his features, such as his eyes and nose. As far as Gary is concerned, well, his head is just a part of his weird, slimy snail body, except for his eyes. Oh, and his shell. But we can use SpongeBob to figure out how tall Gary's eyes and shell are, because they're just a little bit less than half as tall as SpongeBob is in this drawing. Throughout this lesson, if at any time you need to pause or go back, please do. That's the beauty of this being a video. Watch it as many times as you need to. All right, so let's start with a roadmap for SpongeBob and Gary surfing. So there's our roadmap of SpongeBob and Gary. Now we're on to step two. In this step, we do what I call roughing out the features. Understand that we are still drawing as light as possible. You will notice that I use guidelines to help me to know where to put the eyes, the nose, the mouth, and other things. We don't want those guidelines in the final drawing. So you want to draw them as light as possible, light enough to be able to erase them very easily. Okay, so let's rough out SpongeBob and Gary's features.
So there are the roughed out features for SpongeBob and Gary. Now with the roadmap done and the features roughed out, it's time for the final step. In step three, we get to have all the fun. We get to draw the final details of SpongeBob and Gary, and we don't have to guess where to put things because we've already done all the hard work figuring that out. In this step, it's okay to draw darker, but don't hammer that line, mindlessly retracing over the lines you've already drawn. Always look to tweak and improve until the very end. All right, so let's draw in SpongeBob and Gary's details. Okay, so there they are, SpongeBob and Gary hanging 10. Well, how do you think you did? Understand if you've never drawn either SpongeBob or Gary, then you can't expect to draw them perfectly. You notice I don't spend time coloring them during this video because I want my lesson to focus solely on the drawing process. Now you have the secret formula, the process for drawing SpongeBob and Gary. With that, you can draw them again and again, and by all means, color them when you're done. I promise each time you draw them, it will be a little better and a little easier. I also promise the more you work with me, the better you're going to get at all of your cartoon characters. Now for those of you who want to go a little deeper, click on the link below for my free four-part drawing series where I spend more time explaining the details and the thinking behind each step in what I call the level up cartooning process. Okay, so I'd love to see your SpongeBob and Gary masterpiece. If you can, take a picture and post it on either Facebook or Instagram, and don't forget to include the hashtag LevelUpCartooning. Thanks again for joining me. I hope you got something out of our little time together, and until next time, keep drawing, my friends.